Hey guys, so I did get a new Android phone finally. I know that my old phone was really awful and some people made fun of it in the comments when I did my last What's On My Android video. And I now have a new phone and I first wanted to show you guys this case that I have because I'm really loving this case and I actually just yesterday got complimented on it. When I was on the train, this girl came up to me and asked me where I got my phone case. And I actually got this from blingcases.com. They were nice enough to send me a case to try out and see if I liked it. And I thought this design was so pretty. And this is one of the designs that they had for my phone, which is an HTC Evo. But they also have cases for iPhone and other types of Android phones. So definitely check them out online. I will put the link below this video. But this is the case that I picked. And I've had it for about a week and no issues so far and it does have these nice little holes for all of the buttons and here is the hole for the camera and for the little speaker and I really like the feel of it because it has like this really nice kind of soft rubberized kind of feel I thought it might just be like a hard plastic case but it actually has this really nice soft rubbery feel to it which is really nice and comfortable when you're holding it in your hand and the way it goes on is that there's actually a back part of it and then there's this little part around the edge that just snaps on so that it stays nice and snug on your phone so definitely check out their link in the info box or let me know if you have any other questions about the case and let's move on to what's on my Android. So on my main screen, I just have the time in huge numbers because I'm always running late to something. And then down here is the weather. And I really like that about this phone that it lets you have the option to have these two right here. And then on the main page, I just have all the things that I use the most often. These two are apps that just help to cut down on the battery usage on your phone. It keeps it your phone from dying. And then here is Pandora, which you guys are probably familiar with. And I usually listen to that one while to work and then this is sports tracker which is great because it keeps track of anytime you go walking or go running it keeps track of your workout so you know how far you went how fast you were going and then Gmail is pretty self-explanatory and then this is just a battery widget and I have 99% remaining and then over here this tells me how much data I've used and then this is run double which I've been using to work my way up to a 5k it basically takes you from couch to 5k it's one of the couch to 5k apps so it is really fun and I do recommend it because it helps you whoa uh oh because it does help you get from the couch to a 5k so I don't know if I should go through every single one one by one because that might be a little bit boring for you guys but here you can probably see the names of everything right here and at the top as you can see I just basically have social media type apps just for networking and Instagram whatever and then here down here these two rows are both photo editing tools just to edit my photos for Instagram or for posting on Facebook or whatever these little apps help me to edit my photos and I definitely recommend I would say I definitely recommend all of these I think they're all really great they're all free except for this real bokeh I don't know if I'm saying that right, but real bokeh cost, I believe it cost 99 cents, but the rest of them were all free. And on this page, it's all just kind of like shopping related stuff. I've got, um, this is a, a shopping, this, this is a shopping list, and then I've got two different types of calculators here, and then Target, Trader Joe's, Walmart, barcode scanner, Amazon, and there's this is Shopkick. I don't know if you guys have tried this. I saw something that said that you could earn your way to like free gift cards, but it just seems like a lot of work, so I haven't really done it yet. And then on this page, it's all pretty much all just games. So Angry Birds, five different Angry Birds, and then some other games. And these are games that you can play with friends right here. And then this page, I don't know if I use this page all that much. It has Wikipedia, there's a Kindle app, but I don't really read books on my phone. And then there's Netflix, in case you're out but you want to add a movie to your Netflix queue, you can do that with a Netflix app. And then there's The Onion and CNN.com, which of course are the two best and most reliable news sources. 
And then this is my last page, and I guess the theme of this page is stuff to do slash ways to do it. Like I've got Groupon Living Social and Scout Mob, which give you discounts to stuff like events and restaurants and whatever. And then these are all apps to help you basically find your way around. Like this one has a food truck finder for the Chicago area. And then these are all just different ones. Like I think these two tell me about public transit. And then um, this one, I'm not sure. I don't think I've used this one yet. This is a Chicago local guide just for stuff in the area. And then TripAdvisor, which I haven't really used yet either. I think I just got really excited when I got this phone because I had so much more space on it than my last phone. And I just kind of went download crazy and was getting all these different apps. And some of them I haven't really used yet, but some of them I do really love. Like I like the photo editing apps. I like Facebook. I like Twitter and Instagram apps. And I do definitely like the Groupon and Living Social apps because with these apps you can actually pull up any Groupons or Living Social vouchers that you have just on your phone so you don't have to print them out. So that makes it a lot more convenient. And I think that's about it for my phone. If you guys have any questions or if you guys have any apps that you want to recommend to me or if you want to link me to your video where you show what's on your phone, whether it's an Android or an iPhone, then leave me comments down below leave me video responses I love to hear from you guys and let me know what you think of my phone case is it a thumbs up or a thumbs down thanks for watching bye